a orange one here. So in this episode, I'm planning on going up to the mansion um, and continue looting that. But uh, before we do that, there's a couple things I want to take care of around the base and show you. You may have noticed that we have a chihuahua here, a friendly chihuahua. So um, yeah, I'm I'm not gonna use that uh, dog for combat purposes. It's basically gonna be a morale boost that's free and easy for us. Um, I also did want to show you that we have, not only do we have a composite crossbow, which I crafted um, using this recipe here, so it doesn't even take that much more resources. I just needed higher um, mechanics, which I leveled up over the last couple days, and I actually got my fabrication up as well, and I was, what was it that I was able to make with fabrication? There's something that, well, I can I can make a wood saw, which would be kind of nice. Um, there's a couple other good things up there. Oh yeah, I did get a uh, steel chain made. There's a, I've got a couple things in the works. Also, our cow here, um, I've got them on a rope, and there's a uh, a cattle in here. So let me see if I can see them. Yep, yeah, they're right there. So this guy right here is not ours. He's a domesticated cow. Um, I think he'll he'll try running away from us. No, it doesn't seem like it. How did I get him stored up there in the first place? I've forgotten now. I think we just were waiting and hoping that he would step in the right direction. Oh gosh, what did I what did I get myself into? Oh, we've got this calf in here, basically. <laughs> um Okay, maybe he'll go into that one. No. Okay. I might make a cut here when I get the calf taken care of, then we'll go off adventuring, okay? All right, so that actually didn't take that long, but um I do want to continue talking about some of the stuff that we've got with us just in case we need to use it. I am carrying around our revolver. It's not going to do a whole lot of damage, but if we really need to, if we can't reload, we could use that on like a Hulk or something. Um, I do have a flamethrower that's full of gasoline that we built. And uh, oh yeah, we made a pipe bomb. We, we can't make a fertilizer bomb yet because we don't have the... Um, Oh gosh, there was some ingredient that we didn't have. I think it was this. I think I do have a three liter um, jar, but I didn't want to use that quite yet for that. Um, but we'll see. Maybe this episode will end with a big bang. Oh, also I got a pipe shotgun. So we have that on a sling. We've got an extra uh, crossbow in our holster. And we actually have a quiver as well. On our right leg so if we look at our legs on our left leg we've got our hip flask <laughs> and on our right leg we have some bolts and it looks like the flask is actually empty so that's actually um let's reload the hip flask or no hold on i need to be on it it looks like uh reload that with the gin sure so i think that we actually yeah, we have seven units of gin. We're actually getting kind of low on our alcohol and our um, our cigarette supply, which reminds me. Why don't we go ahead and, and grab a cigarette? Sure, take an actual cigarette for the road. And we totally could kill this bear. Oh gosh, I actually think we might want to kill the bear. It looks like it's fleeing though from us. Okay. Let's go ahead and close this all up. We'll get on the road. Oh, also I've, I've been crafting an empty canisters to get our crafting up a little bit higher. Um, So yeah, we'll get going. Actually, hold up. Really quick. Let's grab our large stomach of clean water. 
Oh, actually, yeah, I forgot I cleaned out some of the water in one of our containers. So we'll have that with us in case we need it. And we've got our charcoal purifier as well, and a number of other tools. Let's just put all this down, though, for now. We'll keep our weapons on us. Um, our back flask, or back holster. Go ahead and put one of those in there, and then could we reload the other one? Nice, and we'll wield that. Okay, sorry for the slow start there. I just wanted to show off a number of things. I'm pretty proud with our little bathroom base. Um, I think it, it turned out really, really well. We've got some cows, we've got a dog or two. We've got plenty of giant ants here for us to kill for more meat. Um, you know what I was thinking about while we were driving over is there's also the, uh, the prison. Maybe speed things up just a little bit. If I can get around the flaming eye. Yeah, there's the flaming eye right there. If we can steer all the way around it so that it's like not even in the reality bubble. There we go. It's no longer in the reality bubble, which means we're kind of safe from it. Okay, it is it is distantly in the reality bubble. Let's go ahead and we can go south from here now. I think we can get the um, the gun is basically what I'm going for off of that uh, one truck. Because sure, our... Um, Our current gun situation is a lot better than it's been up to this point, but it's still far from ideal. Oh look, there's another Chihuahua. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention our first Chihuahua. They um, they totally were from by the prison. So let's have a look, see if I want to remove this gun. Mechanics 2. And lifting, actually, yeah, we can just remove it without any tools at all. Look at that. Uh, we have 27 rounds of 0.5 BMG. That is by far the best loot that we've gotten in this game. That is an insanely powerful rifle. We're not going to carry that with us unless we absolutely need it. You know what, actually... Where did I put the the browning? I'm going to put that under the driver's seat. Because I feel like if we really need it, we're going to really need it, you know? <laughs> I also really quick want to just check what's on the ground around here. Yeah, there's some scrap metal. A broken iBot. What can you even get from a broken iBot? Some solder. Integral flash gun. Yeah, I'm not sure if I even want to pick that up. That's it's not. And then we'll just back it up a little bit. And we'll head on over to said uh said mansion. I think I'm just gonna go straight up north, go through the fields a little bit. We've got the gas to make it. The issue is that uh, we might run into some unintended uh, zo group of zombies or something. Yeah, it looks like most of the zombies around us are down there to the lower left, so we're in the clear. I'm not going to be tracking each and every single individual one down. And there's so many ants. There's a cat there. I do actually have cat food. So it is tempting to try and go save a cat. But we already have the Chihuahua. I am a total cat person in, in the real world. But it doesn't really make a difference for Nosh. 
So I'm just gonna stick with the Chihuahua. Oh, I'm sorry, I just want to check how long I've been recording for. I know it hasn't been long. I just need to try and keep track of it. Okay, so we're near the RV. If I wanted to, I'm pretty sure the RV has the chemical making that we need. Oh, but I forgot to bring... Um, what is it that you need to make lye? I think it's like wood ash or something. Yeah, we need some wood ash. Maybe we can burn some stuff at the uh, at the mansion. If we can burn some stuff down, we might be able to get the uh, the required goods. Okay, we do actually have. Oh, we're getting wet in our car. Really? I am going to turn the car around. So we've got something kind of like that. That sounds good to me. Can I get our umbrella out? Where's my umbrella? Oh, please tell me that I brought the umbrella. I think I forgot our umbrella somewhere. Oh no, here we go. We got it. Must have just accidentally dropped it. Good. That's what I thought would happen because I thought we had enough. Um, before we go in, let's just have some smoked meat, maybe a little gin, some potato chips, and some clean water. Let's get rid of that thirst. Okay, so we're full, hydrated completely. We're looking pretty good. I prefer to not be um, carrying so much stuff. Let's go ahead and light up a SIG as well. And then I'm going to leave the rest of the cigarettes in here, I think. And I think we have enough storage to drop this. That gives us 20 storage. Yeah. Yeah, we can we can drop the military rucksack. Um, let's do that for now. We'll leave the military rucksack here. We're going to go in. For right now, my purpose is to basically just um make sure that we're clear of zombies which we most definitely won't be and we'll just kind of room by room clear this place out we got some zombie that's seen us shrieking zombie uh, let's try this out let's see how the crossbow combo works here go ahead just drop that for now Um, they're kind of far away. That does take a while to reload, doesn't it? What if I do like that, and then I activate my back holster? Just drop it. Yeah, that goes super quick. Very nice. That worked out very well. Let's go ahead and reload that composite bow and then get it in the back holster. And I think I'm going to get our uh, whatchamacallit, our umbrella off the ground. Yeah, go ahead stay dry for just a little bit longer this, this one's a crawling one so this one I bet we don't even need to take out the second one our marksmanship has increased to two nice I bet that actually is going to give us some recipes as well 
Yeah, we, we're not even going to get the second one out. Uh, just reload that. Just get the umbrella out for just our short walk to the entrance, then we'll dry off once we're inside. Okay, never mind, we can't dry off out quite yet. Um, from what I remember, we had started to loot uh, the southern part of the building. So I'm going to actually... Cardboard box? Ooh, um, sure. Yeah, I'll take that down. That could be used for arrows, basically, is why I'm taking it. So I'm just going to put some loot by the door in case we gotta get out of here quick. You think randomly of lighting a fire but decide against it? Yeah, probably a good move. Weren't there some zombies that were like around here? They'd like seen us or something? I'm not hearing anything and we haven't got any uh earbuds or anything in, so I think that we're we're in the clear. Okay, so we're back in the kitchen. Um, I know we're going to need copper tubes for making our own bullets. Right now, though, I think we're good. There's tons of pipes, if we need any pipes. You know, I was thinking about maybe relocating to this mansion. That definitely is uh, something that's tempting me. Oh my goodness, this poor bedroom got torn apart. A giant bed. Got a smartphone with like pretty much full charge. That's pretty good. And some plastic chunks. Okay, we got uh, some sort of critter over here. Uh, there is a bathroom, which curiosity has gone the better of me, and I just really wanted to check that out. And we have a corrosive zombie. Um, so it could throw acid at us. I think we can hit it from here. Um, go ahead and drop that for now. Let's reload the one on the ground. And back holster the one on the ground. I'm hearing some stuff below me. There's an electric hair trimmer, which actually I was I was thinking about getting anyways. That's actually perfect. Ooh, there's a camera and a thermos here and a spray can. And the cross zombies back. I'm just gonna make a little run back here. Is it gonna come closer? Yeah, it's gonna come closer. How is that damage doing that we're doing? Okay, the damage is actually okay. I'm going to just fall back here. I think we can. I'm hearing Wump. I suspect they're hitting the door. Wasn't there like another zombie that was like just south of here? Yeah, there's a hungry zombie. I think I'm going to just take a little step outside. Or else they're, they're ignoring us. Um, yeah, that one's coming towards us. Reload that. Um, yeah, stop reloading. Go ahead and get the other one out. Just drop it. 
You kidding me, right? Start running. Get a couple steps back. Um, I think if we go to like there. Uh, hold up. They attacked us. Okay. Go a little bit further back. Wield the barbed wire bat. Just drop it. Um, maybe drop said backpack. There we go. You know, I'm going to actually drop the pipe shotgun and see if we can reload that crossbow. Use the quiver. Yeah, they're going to start throwing acid. I, I thought that would happen. Um, get the crossbow back out. Just drop the bat. Trust me. This guy's going to be annoying to hit. Okay, there we go. Twenty six damage, and he's still not even hurting all that bad. I definitely don't want to get in melee range, though. This dude could be a huge problem in melee range. Oh, corrosive zombie. I was hoping to loot this uh this building, but I guess not. Uh reload, sure. I think we're gonna be able to take him out though. Yeah, a little bit closer. Yeah. Oh really? We're okay though. Let's just wait till we get the Never mind. We're blinded. Great. So now I'm wandering, wandering around blind. Um, I knew I should have had my razor down. Hopefully though, yeah, we'll get our vision back. I knew that there wasn't any other zombies that were nearby, so I figured that we were safe. Really? This guy is is messing me up. There we go. Oh my goodness. No, don't step into the pool of acid. Grab the bolts. Reload. <laughs> and I suppose just wait for the uh the boomer to get a little bit closer. You could probably shoot them. Yeah, the boomer is pretty much one shot done. There we go. We'll pick those up. Um, can I do uh, dismember? Yep. Okay, so that guy's down. Now we can actually get in there and loot the place. That corrosive zombie man. Actually, where's our pipe shotgun? Did I... I dropped that somewhere. Yeah, it's all over here. Um, go ahead, turn this off. And let's actually walk in now. Let's get our backpack, pipe shotgun, and all of our loot. I'm actually gonna get the umbrella out again. Sure, store that, store that in the uh, the thing. Oh yeah, and our crossbow's up there. Any more bolts? Oh, this guy actually hasn't been smashed yet. Okay, well, got our bolts and we got our crossbow. All things considered success so far. We've killed a couple zombies, 
we've looted a couple rooms. Not that much of the mansion, but it's kind of part of dealing with this mansion is going to be the fact that we got to get hurt like that. So that's below us, what we're hearing. My health has definitely gone to the point, though, where I've got to be a lot more cautious. I mean, to be honest, I don't even really need to be looting this place right now. It's just it seems to be so low in terms of zombies. You know? It seems like kind of a waste. And we've got like cigarettes and alcohol and all other kinds of good things just waiting to be picked up. Like there's 20 cigarettes right there. We've basically cleared the southern part of this mansion. Yeah, this looks pretty clear to me. We're not really hearing anything either. Um, northwest I'm hearing stuff, though. Oops, sunflower seeds. I'll definitely take that. Some crop. Would be highly appreciated. Um, plastic bottle. Sure, I'll pick that up. There's a ton of stuff that they just smashed in here. That's sad. There's just beer. Oh, the savages. You just smashed a beer bottle. Um, and the television's good for crafting stuff. Takes an hour to disassemble it, though. We'll maybe come back for that if there's nothing else more, um, more useful. The smartphone, though, we can listen to music to bring up our morale, so I'll take that. And I am curious sometimes these things have... Yep. I thought there might be some alcohol in the fridge. Nice. Okay, so we got that. We got something. Crawling zombie, is that all we have here? Yep. It looks like that's all that we have. Maybe not. No, there's something to the northwest. If I look up here... More crawling zombies. Okay. That's definitely doable. And... Yeah, this is gonna be so easy. And those crawlers, I think I'm, I'm gonna just kind of leave for now. The mansion definitely does not seem to have any amazing medieval armor. I am sorely disappointed. Dive knife. Can't you use that to pry? No. I need to have an actual crowbar. Ooh, is this the library? Oh! <gasps> This is the library. Awesome. Oh man, you have no idea how good this is going to be for us. Arms and armor of China. Um, I really do want that. I just want to make sure there's no other books that I'm like, I absolutely need that right now. Internal combustion fundamentals. That sounds important. That and the armor making sound really important. Um, and because of that, I'm just gonna drop them outside the building. I know that seems kind of strange. You'd think how the rain would ruin the books, but that doesn't. Um, so let's see, where was the other one? Are we making up Imperial China? Well, 
We'll come back. Don't you worry. I just kind of want to see what the rest we have around us here. It sounds like something's trying to come through those doors. Um, we, and we do have some locked doors, so I will want to make a makeshift crowbar at some point. Uh, so can I open it? Yeah, just a regular zombie. That's it? Okay, well we can take you out. With our crossbow maneuvering like that. Do you like that? Um, holster the loaded one. Reload that. And equip it. Okay, so... Okay, we got another kitchen. Nice. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, raw spaghetti. Sure, we'll take that. It has a, a pasta extruder and dried lentils. I was actually thinking of making one of these. <laughs> so that's actually perfect for me. Um, dried lentils, that's good. I hate tuna fish in the real world. I know that our, our survivor would be happy with it. Ooh, there's uh, some old pudding, I'll, I'll eat that. I think we've earned it. Um, I don't think we're gonna go downstairs or upstairs just quite yet. I think we're gonna get the loot. We'll see where we go from there. We'll probably come back in with our um, with our looting bag and stuff to disassemble things. And what I'm thinking is also we need to have something for prying, right? I think we're pretty good. Let's go ahead. Uh, what was this? Just cardboard box, right? Um, the scoping umbrella. Good. Yeah, we'll just drop that for now. It's the car. There are some zombies by the car. One of them saw us. We're gonna have to try and pull them in a way that they don't actually hit our actual car that we're driving. I think we managed. Um, and of course the two zombies have seen us. I think they're manageable. Let's go ahead and dump backpack and the pipe shotgun for now. I know we could take them with just the um what oh no, one of them's inside the car. I am worried about that one inside the car just destroying our car from pathing, yeah. So I'm gonna run over this way and try and lure them out. Okay, good. It looks like they they definitely did hit the windshield. I think that we're in the clear. Uh, go ahead and just take regular aim. I'm gonna wait for that shrieker to get close. Because I want max damage on it. And I bet we didn't even hit it. Oh, we actually did. Okay, so the Shrieker's pretty much dead. I bet if we go here, we could probably wield the um, melee weapon that we didn't bring. Uh, let's run them down a little bit more. We might be able to reload before they get to us. 
Yep, we did. Okay, good. So we can, I think... Yeah, we can't really outrun this hunter. But we can slow him down to the point where we can actually get a good shot off on them. I'm just gonna... I know we're at our precise aim shot. I'm just gonna let him get right next to us. 44 damage. Pretty good. And they are leaping at us. But I think we, we've got it. We've got this under control. Yeah, as long as we hit them, I think this one's gonna go down. There we go. And that one's down too. We got them both taken care of. Stop running, probably. And we'll go pick up our gear. Definitely worth um, bringing the pipe shotgun though with us, just in case we need it. And I'm very grateful that we didn't actually really need it. Um, military rucksack will take also unload everything that we don't really need. Um, we'll do that. And I think we'll keep the dust mask on us just for now. Just in case the smoker comes in. And then I want my hammer. It's here. And our screwdriver. Yep. Now it'll help us disassemble things. We also wanted our cro our uh, crowbar. Do I not have a crowbar in here? I do not have a crowbar. Well, I can make one from a pipe that I find in there. Let's go ahead and close these so that we don't have a repeat of what happened just a minute ago. Wait, what happened with our extra crossbow? Because we have our back holster crossbow, but where's our other crossbow? There's our regular crossbow. I had a compound one. I shot those guys with a compound one. Uh Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to need to find that. <laughs> I know it's around here somewhere. Just a matter of finding it. It's probably back over by the mansion somewhere, huh? I used it to kill like that zombie inside and just dropped it. Anyways, um, I think you've seen basically the important part. I'm just going to finish looting the mansion and then uh, go on my merry way. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.